Tell me about the stupid letter. What Peter? Oh, you know, some of it will pay, blah, blah, blah. Peter. Detective it's Baker. Right. Colleen, it's under control, OK? Um, we're investigating as we speak. Well, you've known about this for some time, haven't you? And you haven't said anything. There, there's a madman out here. No, no, that yet, Colleen. And Peter is just trying to find out everything that's going on so people don't get the wrong end of the stick. We could all be in danger. Well, it could just be a practical joke. Oh, well, that's nonsense. Who'd do something like that? That's the point, Colleen. We don't know, OK? But I promise you, I'm going to find out. The last thing we need is for everyone to be running around panicking. OK, that's how people get hurt. So you can't... No. No, no, I'm serious. Very few people know about this, and if it ends up in the papers... Do I make myself clear? Crystal clear, Detective Baker. You've got nothing to worry about here. Fort Knox. Going somewhere? I've been waiting for ages. What happened? Oh, I'm sorry. I got stuck at the diner with Sally and Flynn and their copper mate. I thought you weren't coming. I wasn't going to ditch you. Really? Well, I was actually going to hang out with my real friends. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> I've been looking forward to seeing you all day. Oh, well, then I guess I could stay for a bit longer then. Okay. Five thousand big ones just to make some stupid little lad. Yep. And you think you're going to win? I can't lose, and as soon as I've got the money, I'm going straight down to Abbey Creek Motors. Well, don't get your hopes up, and don't spend that money, because I'm going to make one too. Can I borrow your camera? I don't think so. Scared mine's going to be better than yours. Your dreams? I just don't think I'll get it back in one piece. Is Mum around? No, she's gone shopping. Well, we told her about Scott. What'd she say? Nothing. She wouldn't tell us what was going on. It was weird, like they had this little secret going on. Anyway, I'm going to grab the paper and I know how much cereal there is in my bowl. You were out late last night. So? So, what were you doing? Talking to Emma. Till 10.30 at night. Is there something wrong with that? We don't have school today and I was home before curfew. What's it to you? Well, I was wondering if you're not too tired, if you could help me out with this video. What video? Well, there's this youth incentive competition and you have to make an ad and if you win, you get $5,000. Anyway, I'm going to make mine today and I need your help. No, with my camera, you're not. Why not? I always lend I you my stuff. I can't talk today anyway. Why? Because I don't feel well. You look fine to me. Well, I'm not okay and I don't have to explain myself to you. What is her problem today? What do you mean today? Oh, you've got to be joking. Locals are in fear of their lives following the delivery of an anonymous letter threatening to harm the community. According to an insider, the author may also be responsible for a dead body found after the recent bushfires and the downing of a local seaplane. All of which begs the question, where will the Summer Bay stalker strike next? Summer Bay stalker? Look, it's not as dramatic as it sounds. Why didn't you tell us? Oh, come on, Lee, you're pretty wound up. I didn't want to make it worse. So, so what, it is true. There is someone behind all... We don't know that for sure. Excuse me. Colleen? Oh, yes, Detective Baker? You told me last night that you wouldn't mention anything to anyone about the letter. I didn't. Well, then how did it end up on the front page of the paper this morning? Well, I haven't the faintest idea, but I didn't speak to them. Well, somebody didn't. It's pretty hard to believe that it could have been anyone else. Colleen, what's happened? Oh, not you too, Sally. You know me. I'm the soul of discretion. You can believe me or not, but my conscience is clear. I did not go anywhere near the paper. You should have seen it. Apparently, we're all under attack from the Summer Bay Stalker. Really? It's going to be tired of rubbish, I mean, as if. Yeah. Anyway, how'd it go with Josie? Um, what? You want to see Josie? Is everything OK? Yep, yep, it's fine. Well, so what was going on? Um, oh, just Mark had to pick up some supplies for the bar and, um, I think he needed some money or something. How come she was angry with him? I think he forgot something. Maybe he won't be doing that again. Hey, Rob. Um, do you want to go somewhere else? Can't go somewhere else. Oh, I'm so thirsty, Tess. I just want a juice. Fine. OK, you order me a pineapple and watermelon juice with a bit of mint, and while I'm in the bathroom, we'll be out if you find stuff. Mm-hmm.
One watermelon, pineapple juice, please. Are you... are you okay? What, apart from having to lie to my boyfriend about you? What do you mean? Well, he knew I was coming here and he asked what happened, so I had to lie. Oh, Tasha, I'm really sorry. Don't be, Joyce, just fix it. You've got to tell... Did you get the right change to break down, sister? Yeah, the flower guy reckons he can do a really good deal. Really? Oh, yeah. that's great. Something nice for you too, Tash. Yeah, I've really got to go to the diner. I'm... But we can get a snack here. No, I really feel like a burger. Burger? Well, I guess if my princess wants a burger, a burger it is. <laughs> Kids. I could have met your work. That's the last place I want to be. What's wrong? Oh, it's awful, Arthur. They all think I did it. Did what? I blabbed to the papers about that letter, but I didn't. You believe me, don't you? Yes, of course I do. The only person I spoke to was you. And if they can't believe that, we'll blow them. You all right, Arthur? Arthur, what's wrong? He's a journalist. And you didn't know? Well, I knew he was a writer of some kind, but I, I didn't know he wrote for the papers from time to time. I'm sorry, Detective Baker. I know you said not to say anything, but... I needed to talk to somebody. I didn't know I was talking to such a rat bag. But no one means no one, Colleen. Look, what's done is done. All we can hope for now is this hysteria doesn't get too far out of hand. This dog is just what this place needs. Can't let it get any more boring than it already is. Hang on, um, are you sure this is cool? Yeah, they'll all be out for at least another couple of hours. Uh, yeah, so, um, anyway, me and Waz are going to make some excitement of our own next week. What do you mean? Well, we're, um, we're going to this dance party. It's going to be huge. Oh, sounds unreal. I can't wait till I can go. Well, you can go. What, do you think that we're supposed to be going? We're getting fake IDs this morning. Look, it's not a problem seeing one up for you. We've got one lined up for Emma. She's right into it. No one's going to believe I'm 18. Are you kidding? You're beautiful. Of course they will. Well, I guess I could go with you guys this morning and check it out. Okay, cool. Are you okay, pet? I know you've hardly touched your burger. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just, just thinking about the whole stalker thing. You know? Yes, unfortunately, pet, I know all too well. I feel a bit bad if me and Rob hadn't set up that internet date thing, then you wouldn't have met Arthur and then all this wouldn't have happened. Oh, no, you mustn't blame yourself, pet. I was a silly old fool who got sucked in but it won't be happening again. I'm off men for good. Bring on the lonely nights, I say, because there's nothing I hate worse than being lied to, deceived, hoodwinked. That's the lesson to be learned here, my dear. Value truth. Yeah, anyway, I'm sorry. Hey, um, I've got to go. What? Have you got your burger to finish here? Yeah, I know, I've just got something to do first. I'll see you later. OK. Now, you know, we were totally crazy, don't you? Thinking we could throw this whole wedding together at such short notice. I mean, sure, we can do it, we'll just keep it simple, but you know what? Simple actually means so much hard work. I mean, at the rate we're going, we're gonna have to get up half the guests to be part of the bridal party. We seriously have to get moving on this. Now, I'm gonna ask Flynn to be best man. Who are you gonna ask to be bridesmaid? Babe? Sorry? The bridesmaid. Are you gonna ask Tash? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Great. Well, that's one thing we can tick off our list. You want me to what? 